April's come to an end and May has begun, which means another bunch of bugs and fish will be arriving and the last chance to catch some of the others. And another video from me making sure you don't miss out on any of them. Let's see if I can get through this one without making any pronunciation mistakes. It was suggested that I should also let you all know what's new to the month in case you missed the previous month's video, and also because more and more information has been coming out so there may be more than what I mentioned in that previous video. So I'll start by telling you those and then we will jump right into everything that's going to disappear at the end of the month. In the Northern Hemisphere, the new fish are angelfish, betas, catfish, frogs, giant trevally, mahi-mahi, nibblefish, and rainbow fish. And the new bugs are diving beetles, pond skaters, queen alexandra's birdwings, rosalia battersea beetles, scorpions, and violin beetles. Then in the Southern Hemisphere, the new fish are bitterling, blowfish, blue marlins, football fish, and tuna. And the new bugs are damselflies, mole crickets, and tarantula. So what's going to disappear at the end of May? In the Northern Hemisphere, luckily only four fish will be leaving and they are the golden trout which can be found on clifftop rivers between 4 p.m and 9 a.m the loach which can be found in rivers all day and they're fairly common then in the sea we'll be losing the oar fish and the zebra turkey fish which both can be found all day so i'd suggest if you want to make quick bells you hunt as many oar fish down as possible in the southern hemisphere 10 fish will be making their departure in rivers mitten crabs are available 4 p.m till 9 a.m guppies and neon tetra are available between 9 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. In clifftop rivers, cherry salmon are available all day, and the golden trout and char are available between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. And finally, in the sea, barred knife jaw, seahorse, and zebra turkey fish are available all day, and rays are available between 4 a.m. and 9 p.m. Again, for the third month in a row, only one bug will be leaving the northern hemisphere, and that is the mole cricket, which can be found by listening out for chirping and then digging them up from their underground hole at any time of the day. In the southern hemisphere, however, eight bugs will be leaving. On the ground, crickets can be found between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m., and long locusts and migratory locusts between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monarch butterflies are found flying near flowers between 4 a.m. and 5 p.m. Orchid mantis are found specifically on white flowers between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Violin beetles are on tree stumps all day. Walking sticks are found on trees between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m., and between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. In the second window, of time they are quite rare. And finally fleas which can be found on flea infested villages. If you speak to a villager who complains of itching just hit them with your net. So what can you expect to see in June? Well in the northern hemisphere the summer fish will finally arrive including everybody's favourite sharks. And you'll get arowana, arapaima, dorado, gar, giant snakeheads, great white sharks, hammerhead sharks, piranhas, saddled bichir, saw sharks, suckerfish, tilapia and whale sharks. And as as for bugs, emperor butterflies will return, mosquitoes, and rainbow stags. And in the southern hemisphere, you'll start seeing oarfish, pond smelt, sea butterflies, squid, and stringfish. And for bugs, dung beetles, emperor butterflies, and Raja Brooks birdwings. As usual, if any of this is incorrect, I will leave the correction in a pinned comment down below. As always, I hope these fish and bug guide videos are helpful. I make them every month, so you can check out the previous ones if you want to see if you've missed anything. A like would be really appreciated, or or maybe even a comment and if you want to subscribe because you've been liking what you see then please do and I'll see you next time bye